Welcome to this Bison Concept oil painting and I'm starting off by doing an acrylic underpainting. So I've taken my canvas to the a desk. I'm just doing it flat on a desk. I've got cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, burnt umber, white. I'm just using limited colours and I'm doing this because once I've done that and dried it with a hairdryer, transferred my drawing, I can then block in with acrylics again and that's going to give me a fantastic map and underpainting to go on top of with my oils later on. So all I'm using to thin my acrylics, very likely, is just some water. I need to be fairly fast because obviously acrylics dry quite quickly. So this was all done within about 15 or 20 minutes. And then I've taped my board vertically then to start with the oils. And I've got similar colours again. And it's much easier then to blend with oils because obviously they don't dry that fast. And I use Alkid oils, so that means they dry quite a bit faster than standard oils. They dry by the next morning or so and that allows me to carry on with another layer and build up my layers which is uh, the real um, thing oils does so well and then once I've got the background blocked in pretty much with the oils I've started on the bison and you can see how much more vibrant the darks are with oils because with acrylics when they dry they lighten and go this uh, milky appearance because they need to be varnished at the end so much much easier to judge those light and dark tones with oils oil paints Lots of people think a very difficult medium, but I think they're much, much easier than acrylics, especially when you use alkids and you're getting the best of both worlds. So now I'm putting a second layer of oils on that background. It looks even more opaque now and I'm adjusting the colors slightly. Getting in the Milky Way, it's a little bit difficult to film dark subjects in oils because of the inevitable glare that you get on there, but you're getting the idea. And obviously on my Patreon channel, this is something like a, a run about a one and a half hour video so you've got plenty and plenty of tutorial tips and uh, secrets that I'm sharing with you from my 20 years worth of experience. So blocking in those colors then getting in the darks because I need it to be dark enough before I get those highlights on top otherwise the highlights are obviously not going to show and I tell you about this in almost all of my full length videos. Then finally once the uh, underpainting is done I can start to come in with the details now this bison has lots of clumpy, straggly and scraggy fur so that's what I'm doing with my brush. I'm not using a very fine brush at all. And then for the background, for the stars, I'm flicking that on. You need to get the paint just right in thickness and then I'm dabbing on some of the um, more prominent stars to make them a real feature in the painting. Once our background is dry I can then start to really concentrate on refining the details of the bison. Then before that bison's finished, I want to block in those mid-ground trees. They're really dark, almost pure black, Prussian blue and lamp black is what I'm using in there. And I'm just putting in the suggestion of those trees. And then I can come back when that's dry and finish off that bison and really refine him a lot. I wanted a painterly look to this, so I didn't want to um, go too crazy with details. I wanted it actually to look slightly surreal with the slightly surreal colour as well. I think it all added to the um, difference that this uh, painting is from my usual realistic work. Then all that was left to do was refinement stage. So that's where I'm starting to work over the whole bison, really punching up those highlights that I've reserved this far along. I always save those really extreme highlights and all that scraggly fur detail which I'm putting on with quite a large rigger brush. And then it's the final refinement of the fur on the bison's head, face and neck. I'm punching up those darks again. And that's what you want with a successful painting. You want lots of layers of depth. And I've got that in this one. I've got those stars in the real distant background. I've got the mid-ground trees. And then in the foreground is that bison with all those punchy details, real darks and the extreme highlights as well, which is really separating him from the rest of the scene. I love the overall blueness. It's something very, very different for me. It's something I'm going to try um, in other mediums as well. So watch out for videos like this also in pastels because you know I do quite a lot of pastels. And if you look onto my YouTube channel, you'll see videos on pastels, charcoals, oils, acrylics, graphite pencils, and lots more.
If you're looking for more art resources, I've really got you covered. I've got a dedicated tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of videos on there, ebook tutorials, you name it, it's on that site. I've got a Patreon art channel. So every month I put up brand new videos, and that could be pastel videos, oils, charcoals, the full length videos and there's also photo references with the Easy Trace line art on there. I've got quite a few hundred people supporting me and that's on Patreon. And also if you're after even more reference photos, I've got a dedicated website just packed and packed with reference photos. I think there's about 900 on there at the moment. So that's wildlifeart-online.com Now please, with my YouTube channel, new videos coming on here as well. If you can possibly subscribe to the channel, then you're never going to miss out on new videos.